Eric Raguda, BS Education, major in English, and currently studying at Norso Shaton Campus. Welcome to my channel. At this video, we are going to discuss about improving social skills. Well, improving social skills can benefit you in every area of life. And social skills are important because they can help you communicate more effectively and efficiently. As a result, you are able to build, maintain, and grow more meaningful relationships with colleagues, clients, and new contacts alike. To improve your social skills, here are 10 ways to develop our social skills, for example, in a job interview or applying for an employee or in a workplace. First, we have engage with others. Second, start in small ways. Third, ask open-ended question. And fourth, observe your co-workers' social skills. And fifth, practice maintaining eye contact. De develop your listening skills. Invite a co-worker to lunch or for coffee. Often genuine compliments freely. Find social skill resources. Keep up with the current events. Engage with others. Find ways to further conversation with friends, family, and close co-workers. Or practice your conversation skills by asking open-ended questions. Similarly, set a small goal for yourself to offer at least one project or business strategy at your next board meeting. Second, start in small ways. Start developing your skills in small ways by engaging with people you interact with on a daily basis. For instance, if you are out shopping, you might reply with a question instead of one word answer when a checkout clerk asks how your day is going. Similarly, you can find ways to lengthen conversation with acquaintance or practices your conversation skills with long distance relatives you speak to less often. Ask open ended question. What is ask open ended question? Asking an open-ended questions can be an effective way to get others talking. It can help by allowing you insight and understanding into your friends, family, colleagues, and even your superiors. When you engage with an open-ended question, it can help them feel validated in their thoughts and emotions. And this can have a positive impact on how you build relationships oftentimes. Co-workers may appreciate being asked open-ended questions. Since it shows you are talking interest in their ideas, try the following open-ended questions. So in a workplace, you must have, uh, you must have to ask in an open-ended questions with your co-workers like this. How you feel about it? Can you tell me more about yourself? What do you think about our work now? Fourth one, observe your co-workers' social skills. What is observe your co-workers' social skills? For this, another step towards developing your social skills is to observe your colleagues. Take notice of non-verbal communication, body language, such as smiling and nodding, and the vocabulary they use to get a conversation going. Consider what makes your co-workers' social skills effective and engaging. You can refer to, to these observations and incorporate them into your own communication skills. For the fifth one, practice maintaining eye contact. Practice maintaining eye contact during conversations. Consider setting a goal to make and hold eye contact for at least 3 or to 5 seconds each time you engage with someone. You might practice with a close colleague with you feel comfortable. Let them know you are trying to improve your ability to maintain eye contact. Practice holding eye contact during the beginning of the conversation when listening to your co-workers speaking and while thanking them and closing the conversation. In improving social skills, we must have to have a good eye contact. Why is eye contact important? Eye contact is a form of body language that conveys a number of fundamental qualities about yourself and how you view the other persons. Eye contact can help you foster meaningful professionals, relationships, and thus improve your professional identity among employers and co-workers. Number six, develop your listening skills. 
Equally as important as being able to share your own thoughts is being an active listener. In doing so, you allow others to feel comfortable sharing their ideas and input. Practice your listening skills by maintaining eye contact, using nonverbal communication like nodding when you agree and asking clarifying questions when hearing something you misunderstand. For number seven, invite a co-worker to lunch or for coffee. Building relationship with others can seem intimidating, but it helps to start with developing a relationship with one person at a time. First, find a teammate that works in a similar role as you and invite them to lunch or to have coffee. Having a role or job responsibilities in common can give you topics in common to talk about, but eventually, Try asking questions to get to know them better as an individual. As you build more relationships, connect on one-on-one -on -one level with people who work different areas of the business. This can help you grow your professional network and gain better understanding of how the work you do impact the business in a whole. And number eight, offer genuine compliments freely. Complimenting others on a job well done is a great way to demonstrate friendliness and appreciation of others. They can act as an opening to a larger conversation or ongoing conversation. Be sincere. A compliment that is this ingenuous can work against you. For number nine, find social skills resources. There are many classes, books, podcast and tools available both on and offline to help you improve your social skills try searching for resources based on a specific topic such as body language networking or active listening from there put your learnings into practice for number 10 keep up with the current event staying up to date on current trends, events, and news stories can give you topics to talk about with others. Consider subscribing to local news alerts or industry-specific newsletters to have content sent directly to you. As a best practice, avoiding controversial topics like politics or religion to keep conversation professional and friendly. Have good communication skills allows you to give and receive information. Using, improving, and showcasing your communication skills can help you both advance in your career and be competitive when searching for a new job. Here are top 10 communication skills. Active listening, communication method, friendliness, confidence, sharing feedback, volume and clarity, empathy, respect, nonverbal cues, and responsiveness. Communicating effectively in the workplace. Be clear and concise. Practice empathy. Assert yourself. Be calm and consistent. Use and read body language. Here are strategies for enhancing emotional intelligence. Well, emotional intelligence is the ability to recognize your emotions understand what they're telling you, and realize how your emotions affect people around you. It also in involves your perception of others. When you understand how they feel, this allows you to manage relationships more effectively. Developing strong as people's, people's skills and socialization, we well probably all know that people, either at work or in a personal lives, who are really good listeners no matter what kind of situation they were in. They always seem to know just what to say and how to say it so that they were not offended or upset. They're caring and consistent and even if we don't find a solution to our problem, we usually leave feeling more hopeful and optimistic. Here are the characteristics of emotional intelligence. Number one, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills.